गुड मॉर्निंग गर्ल्स नाउ वी कम टू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इन साइंस विच इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक नाउ गर्ल्स वी नो दैट क्लोथ्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ अ लाइफ अलॉन्ग विथ फूड एंड शेल्टर एंड वी वेयर क्लोथ्स टू कवर अ बॉडी एज वेल एज टू प्रोटेक्ट अ बॉडी फ्रॉम हार्श वेदर कंडीशन फ्रॉम डस्ट फ्रॉम पोल्यूशन फ्रॉम इंसेक्ट बाइट्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स ओके नाउ वी वेयर क्लोथ्स अकॉर्डिंग टू different climatic conditions as well as according to different occasions now if the uh, the climatic conditions are very hot we have very hot weather so what kind of clothes will you will prefer to wear you will prefer to wear cotton clothes why because cotton clothes they allow air to pass through them so we feel very comfortable in summers in in cotton clothes suppose we have very cold weather conditions so what kind of clothes you will wear we will wear the woolen clothes why because woolen clothes they trap the air inside them they do not allow the air to pass through them and to heat also no they do not allow heat to pass through them so what happens a body heat it cannot go outside so it will remain in towards the body also and it does not allow the cold air from outside to come to reach to a body so it keeps our body warm okay now we all know that uh, climatic conditions we have discussed now we wear clothes according to different occasions also different occasions means suppose we have to go to a party so what kind of clothes you would like to wear you would like to wear silk clothes because they are very shiny they are very lustrous okay and at home if the climate conditions are hot you will prefer to wear cotton clothes okay so we wear clothes according to different climatic conditions as well as different occasions we all know that clothes they are made up of fabric what is fabric in hindi we say it kapda we wear the clothes are made up of fabric and this fabric is made up of yarn for example i'll show you this is a fabric suppose this is a cotton fabric okay you also take a cotton fabric and you cut that fabric and you see that it is made up of the various yarns yarns means what are the yarns here they are the dhaga what we say okay and these yarns they are further made up of very thin hair like structures strands which are known as fibers they may not be visible with a naked eye but when we see under the microscope it becomes visible okay so these yarns they are made up of fibers today in this chapter we will discuss about the two different kind of fibers wool and silk okay now girls we come on the wool fiber wool fiber is obtained from the fleece of various animals what do you mean by fleece fleece is the outer hair coating which is present in various animals like sheep goat camel etc okay so from the outer hair we get this wool we will discuss about those animals also okay first we will discuss about the characteristics of this wool fiber first characteristic is that it is creamy white in color and then it can be further dyed we get woolen yarns woolen fibers in various colors okay but originally it is obtained in mostly creamy white color second it does not wrinkle what happens when you wash your woolen clothes and you hang them to dry up in the evening when you go and collect them do you have to iron those woolen clothes no because the, it does not wrinkle third it is very durable and elastic the winter clothes the woolen clothes they last for years and years okay they do not get damaged easily so they are very durable and also they are very elastic suppose your uh, body size grows you become a little fat still then your uh, sweater it fits on you okay because it has elasticity in it the wool fiber then fourth it is a bad conductor of heat right now i have explained you it does not allow heat to pass through it so what happens the when we wear the woolen clothes the body heat it does not allow that body heat to go out so our body remains very warm okay then it absorbs moisture to great extent you must have noticed when you wash your woolen clothes what happens and you just 
take them out of the bucket a lot of water drips from it okay why because it absorbs a lot of moisture it absorbs a lot of moisture so the water also is a kind of moisture it absorbs that and a lot of water drips out of it now we come to the animals that yield wool there are various animals that yield wool for example sheep now from sheep the fibers can be obtained from the coarse bed hair and very soft fine under hair okay so two kind of fibers can be obtained from sheep one is a coarse bed hair which is on the outer part of the body that hair is very coarse from there also the fiber can be obtained and the hair which is very close to the body that is a very soft and very fine hair from that also the fiber can be obtained okay and the wool uh, fiber that is normally used by human beings by us to wear clothes or to make the woolen clothes that is from the soft fine under hair the hair which is very close to the body of sheep from that we obtain the fibers and we make our woolen clothes now from the sheep uh, this is a kind of merino sheep this is a breed of sheep merino sheep which gives a very good quality of woolen fiber okay you have to remember this name which which quality or which breed of sheep gives the best quality of woolen fiber that is a merino sheep okay second we come to the goat now there are different kind of goats which give the hair which gives the woolen fiber so the different kind of goats that we will study here is angora goat angora goat they are found in turkey 